so we are in uh, Ambert Hotel. Uh, we have been here, we were having lunch when we uh, went to the Curry Lake and mm, Aragat yeah. top. About a week ago. It was a week ago. So we want to update you what was happening during the week and why there was no videos and etc. Because lots of things happened during that time in uh, Yerevan and uh, Armenia actually, yeah, so not in Yerevan. Yeah, so I mean, you've probably seen the news. Uh, a lot of it wasn't reported that well, but Azerbaijan actually directly attacked into Armenian soil, not the Gorno Karabakh. Uh, and actually, they struck Jenu, uh, which we were at just a, you know, less than a week before yeah. that happened. Also, Goris, another place they hit. In Jamuk, in particular, that's a spa town. Yeah, There's if you remember, tourists, if you remember, cars. that was that was the place where we were trying the different mineral waters. Yeah. So, so it's yeah, absolutely been... nothing to do with military and nothing to do with Karabakh and well advanced in, in inside yeah. Armenia. So. so there's been a, been a lot going on here that you know, trying to well, stay up to date with what's happening when the news is very fast moving and a little bit uh, unpredictable as to how much truth is in it so and there's been Nancy Pelosi was here yesterday mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of diplomatic moves going on so yeah it's been a, a bit of a busy week for the wrong reasons so try and forget about that for this next couple of days where we're away in this beautiful scenery we're gonna go for a walk a little bit later down the road into the village or small township. You can just about see it in the distance there. There's a, an observatory which we're going to go to. Yeah. Uh, it might be tricky for you to see on the camera, but I can see it right in the middle. So directly in line with the yeah. curve of Ararat, which again, you probably can't see very well. There. Probably in the maybe. evening time will be better to yeah. see. And then maybe go but it's a major observatory and they have excursions, so we will go twice maybe we'll go first with the excursion and then at night we'll go and watch stars because yeah. they have actually a very uh, powerful telescopes there yeah. looking forward to it we wanted to come here also to just look at the villages around and probably to see where there is somewhere we can we want to move yeah uh, seems to be like fantastic places and just and they have skiing in the winter as well yeah it's it's actually this hotel is also pretty good for winter they have in indoor uh, swimming pool and uh, winter sports obviously we are just at the old coast of Aragas, right and what you see now is ararat valley between two mountains ararat and aragats uh, just the view is killing. That's absolutely what I. The, the, the what sun, I yeah, the sun's beaming in on it. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, so not doing it justice. But it's it's like my dream view from this point. Uh, you you can see actually probably from Burakan also it will be very nice nice view. Highly recommended place. Yeah. My dad worked here some time when back when he was young. So okay, we are going to go and explore. Uh, the hotel, uh, Ambert Hotel, and then we go down. It'll be about one hour walk. walk. Yeah. It's sunny, warm, but it's not piping hot. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with, like the, in with the climate here. It's still hot in the summer, but it's not blisteringly yeah. hot. You know, three or four or five degrees yeah. lower. Um, cold okay. in the winter, but then you have got the skiing to compensate. So. Yeah. Nice place. Uh, we, we are here on Monday. That's why we got the room. It's a super popular place, totally blocked always and we'll stay here for another night just enjoy nice village life cows and yeah. views and quite, fantastic quite food funny here. with the cows trying to get into the hotel yeah. the, the grass <laughs> is a little bit greener here because they water it <laughs> yeah kept getting shooed off by a barking dog and the security guard yeah which is funny. Yeah, well, anyway, we are here, we are in Armenia again, again, for another two weeks. Um, we'll see how the situation is unfolding and uh, we'll try to keep up with the uh, developments. So, for now, that's it. And the balcony is like uh -huh. huge and fantastic yeah. and quite hospitable. They give us fruits and uh, some Armenian dried foods and overall hotel room is pretty nice and big and clean new hotel very nicely done quite happy with it view from the entrance of the hotel swimming pool 
hopefully later on it will be less, less hazy and our rod more visible, but it is just amazing. Super. Going to have a lunch in a place called Amber Tavern. Tavern, which is near the hotel. They have the most amazing, what maybe? Kebabs. Kebabs. Maybe the best I ever I've ever had, really, like no joking. They also have very nice hush, but that's for breakfast, not lunch. <laughs> Too heavy. Just to give you a glimpse of the pool. Small but very cool. Actually, what they should have been doing, really, the infinity pool here. I don't know why the hell they didn't do that. This is like a perfect place. Do that again? It's like a perfect place for you to be Cold? It's not that cold. As I said, I suspect that they're using a lot of this solar to heat it. Down here, they've just got two, Yeah, they have huge solar panels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but maybe they're just using it for the electricity. Is this the road that it shows? Shows like the shortcut or no? No, no it was further down that way. Oh, okay. Fine. Let's just see the hotel buildings from here. Very wintery type, right? Like chalet type. Yeah, a nice summer, and, summer outside bar. And pool. Yes, the bar, and then inside they have like sauna and they inside like the indoor, swimming, indoor pool. swimming pool, which is nice. And that's the road we have seen goes to Aragats and the Umbert uh, for, uh, fortress uh, we featured before. Okay, it's just like a really fantastic place. No wonder everyone wants to have a piece of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is just really heavenly places. Okay. We are near the Tegesh Monastery. It's, a, it's a morning, late morning. Absolutely bright weather. You can see our Red Valley from here. So we are on the opposite side of the Amber Castle. We just decided to tell the taxi driver to bring us here. So I heard a lot about this particular monastery, but we never seen. So let's just see what's happening here. Lots of hatch cars. Yes, of course we are in their territory. <laughs> we scared them. They're small. Yeah. Teenagers. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Yeah. Let's see. Drink for first. This is like a pure spring water from Aragats Mountain. Let's go inside. As usual, very quiet. We are the only one. Some renovation happening, but other than that. Extremely quiet and peaceful. As usually, no one in churches. One more time, the view. There is also like small forest at the bottom. See, of course, Yerevan and Ashtarak and other small cities and Ararat. Okay, baby, let's go passing near very old cemetery. I think there is a newer one upstairs, like a, a little bit further up. This one is an old, old one. Should have been some church here, right? We probably need to find where is the church. So we decided to go and find chapel on our way back and meanwhile trying to show you that telescope if it's visible. Uh, unfortunately not working now and after the collapse of Soviet Union, uh, actually as I hear from my father it was actually vandalized. Uh, tr probably they will try to the was it, golden like parts, go golden parts like whatever, it? it's, it's needed major renovation and requires lots of financing. But it was exactly for space observation. Yeah, and pretty strategic uh, kind of telescope. But 
Uh, okay, nothing else to say. We are not going to go there. There is nothing, except sometimes seems to be there are rumors they are organizing concerts for tourists and etc. But we are not going to go uh, today. We'll head to observatory now. Nice small church here, but we are trying to find the entrance. You can see. There's another church over there. I think that's the Tegel one. There are lots of nice houses and mansions here. From the old times, it was pretty much a summer house place. Okay. Very, quite a lot of artists uh, were living here. Now it's very nice village. It's lots, clearly lots of cows live here, according to the road condition. <laughs> But what does it mean also? Lots of organic diary is available here. We found some old military, what is it? It's not tank. No, it's designed to be going on the snow and the mud and whatever, it's probably... Yeah, but it's all not, not in working condition anymore. You can see actually lots of cars here. This is because this is the road to Curry Lake and absolutely no any tourist uh, reduction I can observe. Still lots of tourists seems to be. Nobody got scared. But unfortunately it's a bit also sad here because we have heard um, sounds of them. Uh, funeral was probably one of the young guys unfortunately from the last last these two days war there were uh, seems to be some funeral arrangements here okay let's find out now how we can continue to go and reach observatory i'm not sure you can drink but probably just can watch this is so monument is done in 1955 for the uh, second world war and you can play chess here too if you want to okay we are continuing our walk in Durakan. we are in observatory territory we we'll go now to museum i cannot do videos in museum but then we will go to the big antenna that will be allowed we decided to skip the night uh, start gazing. gazing and we'll put it for next trip mm, so far very nice part here let's go and see yeah UFO I put already <laughs> entering the museum uh, this is a museum uh, house of the Victor Humbert Simeon from a scientist who was very much uh, the after of all this observatory worked here and did quite a lot of research work. Uh, apparently I cannot do video inside, but we'll tell you what was happening after we come out from here. Okay, so we are going now near a lot of telescopes. Uh, some of them are just for the teaching purposes. Some of them are for research. We are going now towards the bigger one. So just of what we can see during the daytime there we are heading to that big one it's quite a funny how we are going through like a hidden territories and etc and the small roads quite interesting to walk here in the huge garden towards that big telescope wild garden yeah pretty cool it's a scary bridge on the way to telescope. <laughs> you didn't wear your heels. <laughs> Not made from glass, but metal. And we are very close to it. We were just listening to the story that actually my father told us to come and find that telescope. Uh, which is a one millimeter Schmidt type 
uh, but unfortunately it's closed. Uh, we cannot see it. It does not matter, but uh, what is the actually famous about that telescope? But it was uh, given to Mussolini by Hitler so that they will develop observatory in Italy uh, in 1934. Then during after the World War II, Soviet army took it and brought to Leningrad, which is currently St. Petersburg. And then Viktor Hamvartsman negotiated and brought it to Armenia. And one of the scientists, Armenian scientist Markarian, managed to observe huge galactics from, by using that telescope, which was named that complete uh, compilation of the galaxies was uh, named after him, Markarian galaxies. Here we go, we'll enter inside. I think we can probably make some video inside, but let's see. Beautiful views while entering the antenna side. Not the telescope side. Mixing antennas and telescopes. <laughs> Leningrad's observatory. So this is the problem that's constructing from here. Okay. We can't see now anything. So tell Was established in 1974, produced in 1974 uh, for in Leningrad uh, Lomo factory. You probably have seen how it's opening. It's not opening yeah. everything. It's like a side. Yeah? yeah, two two lines are opening at the top. Yeah. yeah, if we want to come and glaze at night, probably they will show us. Yeah, yeah. He, he much. Yeah, it's currently working. It's like in working condition now. Nobody works at this moment, but uh, it's usually uh, in working condition. Now, this uh, this white uh, portion goes up from yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the opening yeah. and the blue one is rotating yeah, that's that's while they are searching. So computer is like identifying what uh, part of the sky they want to search and then they are making observations and pictures and etc. So uh, unfortunately we will not be able to see this. This is not for star glazing. Like nobody can come here when they are doing like scientific observation because the light interference uh, will build, yeah. So that uh, behind the door inside is the mirror, mm -hmm. okay, which is not from glass or uh, other things, it's from special material. And it's covered by that gray uh, part, which is opening up like a flower yeah. during the observation. Okay, quite interesting. And this is like very old technology and yeah. still works very well. Okay, so uh, what uh, she was saying that uh, I asked the question what, uh, what were the like, latest uh, uh, discoveries. Mm -hmm. They say that very recently they discovered new star called Fu O. And when, whenever they discover something here, it's obviously uh, they need to kind of do the peer reviews and American confirm science, with the American with the international other observatories. Yeah, things. yeah. So they double check that it's indeed new because 
uh, according to the theory from Ombudsman, he proved that every time new bodies are uh, actually created, it's not that everything whatever was created during Big Bang and that's it. Yes, everything is changing, so they need to actually reconfirm. So, still works, still produces something amazingly. Yeah. <laughs> because it, this is pretty old uh, telescope and observatory, right? When it was actually constructed in 1975, it was seven figures in the board, now it's 45, and the biggest one is on the territory of Chile at this moment. A little bit more of this fantastic view uh, in scattered telescopes, uh, etc. Okay. Like it's, I think that like, like the time has frozen here. Yeah. This is not 2022 and it is 1975. I kind of at some moment, for a moment, I even forgot about all the dangers and other things happening. Guess where we came? This is a snail factory and restaurant. So they have snail a farm. Snail farm. <laughs> yeah. But of course, they are not producing it. This cannot be called factories, it's farm. And the owner is with us. So we are going to, first of all, watch how they are formed. And then, unfortunately, after seeing how they are living, we will start eating them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the life. This part is okay. short huh. Can't say I can see anything. There is a, there is a cat. <laughs> it's Roman. Rom! Ari! <laughs> Come! Ah, uh, here. Ari Rom Janari. Hey, Kafesa. Hello, Kisha. Oh, you are so beautiful. Come, come. Ari, Ari. Ari Marut. Ari Stick. Yes, we know. We know. Rom. Hey. Shot. Yari. Let's go. Let's go. No. Hello, Chess. Bossy. Okay, I guess these are their houses, small houses, I can't see anything, but uh, so owners say they're sleeping. They're, no, they're nocturnal. Uh, yeah, no, but they are here. You can see some, you can see, right? Can you see the snails, small, small snails here? Yeah. They are under the woods. Uh, under the woods. Uh, this is the. This is their shells. Uh, this is the food that we give them uh, to mm. eat. So oh, okay. I will not take it. Yeah. I will yeah. Eat this one. Yeah. No, that's empty. Yes, mm. it's died. Yeah, dead. Poor one. Here mm. they are. Oh. Okay, look at these, they are like... Huh. Here is electricity. Oh, okay. Even they will not go careful. out. Yeah. yeah. And at the other end as well. Yes, yeah. yes, I can see. Just to be careful with the electricity, right? So, here we it's go. It's baby this snails. Is... Yeah. yeah. Here is a red snail. Which one? A breeder. Okay. It's a red snail, yeah. which we can cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's a, how you know it's ready or no. Uh, in, in the moment they, uh, when they have such a thing in the shell, you know, yeah. you see it's a the corner. Curve. Oh, yeah. right. okay, come. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. He's ready snails. Yeah. Uh, the other snails. I'll show you. If you touch here, mm -hmm. touch pin. Scoosh, Careful. It is not not fully hard. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's not hard. It's soft. Yeah, yeah. It's not ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it, it's not uh, uh, necessary that the uh, the it's small or big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should be yeah. just. The important much. is to have a, a corner. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. What's the what type of snails these are? These are vine leaf snails or just other type? Uh, no, it's uh, snails which are for farming, good okay. for farming, yeah. because they grow from baby snails to breeders mm -hmm. about six months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Six the months. wild okay. snails yeah. yeah are growing for uh, four or five years okay. oh that's why they're big yeah no not only big the shell is very uh, this shell is if you see mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. very fragile yes, yeah. yes, yes. okay i see and we have two type mm -hmm. of snails here is a aspersa maxima mm -hmm. And here is Maxima Nulle. We'll not pretend we know what is it, but... The yeah, different okay. different uh, types of uh, snails. Yeah, okay. Okay. Looks nice. And what you do in winter with them? Uh, they are, uh, we are picking up the breeders, mm -hmm. ready snails, and yeah. sell them or yeah. cook them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, baby snails uh, stay here. Uh, Are there snow? Uh, under the under the ground ground ah okay under the snow, uh, soil yeah. mm, okay so that's why they survive until the uh, spring yes yes they are sleeping until mm -hmm. the, until okay, but they hibernate so they yeah hibernate. yeah probably okay okay so now we can go to restaurant uh, and try them even if you want yes of course we want to <laughs> why, why we came we'll try some escargot armenian made so this is like a family-run farm and restaurant. So what we ordered, uh, escargot with a white wine and English recipe by yeah. Gordon Ramsay yeah. salad with the Alexandra Yeah, fish. apparently it goes very well with beer. It's in, uh, yeah, different things are very good with beer or vodka, yeah. whereas the majority of things are usually with wine, yeah. Yeah. white wine. So. And because this is our afternoon snack, uh, we decided not to go to kind of full, but it will yeah. be uh, again too yeah. much. But of course we came yeah. here because we want to be adventurous okay. I see. and try for other mm -hmm. people to know what's happening here okay we'll provide the overview okay. later. we will start with escargot first yes. and compare uh, go ahead let's take and probably just will try to do usual stuff it's a pear and white wine you are some expert to, yeah that's call me an expert, but... it's okay don't worry Nobody's going to judge you. <laughs> Just try a little bit first. Good, very garlicky. I hear it's great. Garlicky and uh, buttery, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try myself. Thank you. Probably you can actually try your salad too. Yeah. Well, Gordon Ramsay's recipe. <laughs> with Rugol and other very things. Very nice uh, presentation as well. Yes. And it's also with the like bacon and other yes. things. Yeah, okay. Really good. Good? Yeah, really like okay, I, I definitely need to stop and try <laughs> myself. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Phoebe, tell me yeah. about snail farm. It's really, really good. The quality of the food was just excellent. You know, the escargot is obviously just like plastic escargot. Just yeah. the, the snail in the shell with a garlicky sauce. And the dish I had was sort of chopped snails with bacon and a uh, fresh leaf salad, uh, a rocket and a few other little herbs and, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Balsamic vinegar <laughs> and super tasty, nice, nice beer, nice glass of wine, nice camp up, really nice people, showed us a plot of land that was available <laughs> close by. Yes. So yeah, it was a very nice experience. And you had super friendly, nice people that you get in the villages that you forget about in cities. Yeah. Now we are off track in the village. We'll go get into main road and back to hotel. Hopefully. And we, we actually overdid today. Okay. Instead of taking like two days to complete itinerary, so just relax no, feet in the pool. yeah so yeah highly recommend that snail farm yeah. very tender yeah, excellent quality good. yeah and the usual village life yeah. with all the yeah. right animals mm -hmm. and etc <laughs> main road yeah it's rush hour rush hour right the, all of uh, all the traffic wants to go back home 
interestingly that some of them are telling others hurry on hurry on saying quicker and the cars need to really navigate See. Evening Ararat. Okay. Oh, nice swing place. That that's the swimming pool place. Is over there. Okay. Perfect. Photo. Of, yeah. And the balcony is. Yeah, so that's another kind of like a bar place with with a basketball court and some other facilities. Okay. In the swimming pool. Now too chilly to Yerevan in the distance. Mount Ararat straight ahead, but you can't see it, and the sun is just setting over the mountain there. And that's the swimming pool, and the bar, and the restaurant downstairs, an indoor pool, and spa, and sauna just to the right of us, and another restaurant called the Amber Tavern. But it's a beautiful view sitting on a large balcony on a Monday night just enjoying the sun going down it doesn't get much better than that okay yeah so night now yeah so this is the Aragat side of the Ararat Valley directly mm -hmm. ahead of us is Ararat which you probably can't see now the sun's gone down but you could about 10 minutes ago catch the outline yeah that mountain over there is the sun dropping down got the swimming pool which is always nice to see at night a little ski slope in front of us for the winter when it does snow and yeah, right over time. to the left of the Ararat Valley is the outskirts of Yerevan yeah. so you can see it all from here yeah. it's impressive and that's the end of our long day with mixed emotions yeah. peace and quiet here so far yeah. hopefully but it was Forever, a good, yeah. but but it was a good we'll day see. because we were busy. Took our minds off everything. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.